get to celebrate the fact that we're going to be here for years to come. Now at 11, a San Francisco legacy restaurant that once faced closure now has an extended lease. Thanks for joining us here on Cron4 News at 11. I'm Noelle Bello. A 45-year-old family-run Mediterranean restaurant is here to stay. We first told you about La Mediterranean in August when they were told they couldn't renew their lease. But now the legacy business on San Francisco's Fillmore Street has been offered an extension. Cron4 Sarah Stinson uh, has been following this story. She has the update. There's been a lot of changes in the last couple months here on Fillmore Street with four lease signs popping up, but customers and the owners of La Mediterranean say they're relieved to hear it won't be vacant anytime soon. So 45 more. <laughs> a new lease on life. Vanique de Bergerogen is excited. His family restaurant, La Mediterranean, has been given an extended lease until 2028. Oh, it's a great day. Uh, we are very, very happy. Today we just get to celebrate the fact that we're going to be here for years to come. De Bergerogen runs Cafe La Med. His father, Levon, opened it 45 years ago. For him, his life's work uh, lives on, and that's great. In the summer, they were told their lease would not be renewed, but Dave Bedrosian says they were able to work out an agreement with the landlord. Code Yellen and Neil Mehta have really uh, shown that they care about small businesses on the block, and uh, our agreement, you know, our, our lease extension is a reflection of that. Bye bye. Take care. Customers say they're relieved to hear their favorite restaurant is here to stay. We love it. We've been coming here. I don't know how long. We were very upset thinking that they will close because the food is delicious. And they were one of the first that came in to really make the street as what it is. So it's an icon. Just across the street, however, what was once another legacy restaurant sits empty. Tanichi closed down after failing to negotiate their lease with the same landlord, Cody Allen. Allen says they have offered new or extended leases with no increase in rent to some existing tenants, including Tanichi. Starbucks is also vacant. The landlords say the corporation declined an extended lease and they plan to soon put in a small business there. These efforts are a part of the newly launched Upper Fillmore project working to, quote, restore the neighborhood's vitality and locally owned and operated character. It's funded by Fillmore area native Neil Mehta, who invested $100 million to rejuvenate the commercial district. Some who live near Fillmore Street say they are hopeful to see more local businesses and less for lease signs. I'm uh, cautiously optimistic. I think it might take a little longer than we had hoped. But it'll be back. I do wish we had a little bit more variety of like local vendors around here. In the lease extension agreement, Cafe Lamed will now be open on Sunday starting in January. They'll be open seven days a week, and this is to increase foot traffic in the area. And landlords here say they're getting an overwhelming interest from potential tenants. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting in San Francisco. Back to you.